Welcome to another episode of VMAG Tete Tete and today our guest is my favorite media personality. He's a radio presenter, a TV presenter, um, a master of ceremony for what, almost all the events in the country and now a very good actor. Say hello to Sanjay Gupta. Hi Sanjay, how are you? Hey Oshin, thank you very much for having me here. Of course, you look very nice. And you look beautiful as always. And I'd just like to add this, that uh, I've seen you since the inception of you joining the media. Mm -hmm. And you've come so far, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. So now let's start with, how did you start your career? Have you seen me start? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about you. I have. We've never talked about this. We haven't talked Not. about it. I started uh, working in the media uh, since 2009. So it's been a while. And I started off working uh, from a radio station to a TV station to basically hosting lots of events, and which I still do. And uh, yeah, now I've jumped into acting as well. So that's my scope so far. That's, that's my career graph so far. You started working when you were, what, 20, 21, in the media? In the media. How, how was your first day, like, at work? First day at work was... I and did you think that Pochikar Ma Arjay Bonsu just took it like, it just landed? It just landed, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to say it just landed in my plate because it was fate. It just happened. Uh, I saw advertisement on a newspaper uh, which said, do you want to work as a radio presenter? And I was like, hey, why not? Because all my friends, everybody who I worked with when I was young, used to say that I have a voice which might be good on the radio. I had no idea. I never used to listen to the radio at that time. And then uh, applied for it. After a while, I got it. And then, yeah, and the first day, I still remember the first day of uh, being in front of the microphone was so funny because I didn't know what to do. And the person who I was supposed to go ahead and host the show with couldn't make it for the show. So okay. just imagine my first show was around from 8 to 9 on a Saturday and my co-host didn't show up who was a veteran who had been hosting a show for for the past 7, 8 years, 10 years probably and then she was, she didn't show up. Mm -hmm. She was unwell or something and I found that out 15 minutes before the show. And I turned on the microphone, after that I don't remember what I said, I actually don't remember what I said Oshin but mm -hmm. that one hour went by and then there was no looking back. Of course. Ani, RJ Bata, you moved into being a TV host. Yeah. I know. What does it take for an RJ to move into television? I'll give you a very basic example and to all the viewers who are watching right now as well. On radio, you cannot have a minute of silence, even a second of silence. Mm -hmm. Because silence, it's dead. Silence means there's nothing on air. Mm -hmm. So on the radio, you got to keep on, you know, talking. You got to keep processing your mind to go ahead and say something. So you got to be really quick. On television, you can use your hands, you can use your expressions, you can go ahead and use your eyes, your face, your all your senses. You, you can go ahead and at least go ahead and show some senses on television. So, radio has its own, you know, flip side, and television has its own flip side as well. On television, it's a bit different. You need to have a presence, I know. You need to have that presence. You need to you need to go ahead and have that humor as well, because people are not just hearing you on television; they're looking at you as well. And on the first episode that I did for TV as well, it was really funny because my co-host didn't show up as well. Okay. So, so you have a thing with I have a thing when my okay. co-hosts don't show up for the first day of work. So I was supposed to host a show with a very good friend of mine and she didn't show up. So imagine, it's 5 o'clock on Nepal television. I, I don't even know if I'm about to be on air and my co-host doesn't show up. She was supposed to introduce me and then she doesn't show up. So I am on air, the producer goes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and I'm just on air and, and I don't remember what no I said. Back. I don't remember what I said and then after that there's no looking back. So uh, an RJ, a TV host yeah. and then you started off with emceeing events. The first show that I hosted was in 2009, 14th of February, it was Valentine's Day, okay. it was not even in Kathmandu. So you were busy. Yeah. Did you host the show because you do not have anybody to celebrate the day at with? At that time, I was single. Yeah, at that time, I'm still single, but at that time, <laughs> I was single. I was not dating anybody. And then, no, they approached me and they said, hey, do you want to go and host a show in uh, this part of the country? And I was like, yeah, hey, sure, why not? It might be fun. And then they approached me, I went, I did it. And then it was really fun as well. It was fun to go out and engage people because when people agree to what you say in real life, when you have like thousands of people in front of you and they agree to what you're saying on the microphone, that's a different kind of adrenaline. That's a different kind of mm -hmm. 
uh, vibe. That's a very different kind of rush that you get. It was fun. And uh, like you said earlier, the the RJ thing landed on your plate, I know. Yeah. Acting pani this the thiyoki. Were you planning for it? No, it was something similar as well. Good fortune. That's what I'm going to go ahead and say as well. I had a good time. I was traveling, you know. I met a lot of people, and I was about to come back to Nepal. I had my flights ready, my tickets ready to come back, and then somebody called me up and said, "Hey, we're working on a movie. Do you want to stay back for a month and play a movie?" And I said no to the movie because I I I thought at that time I was not ready to go ahead and act in a feature film, and the person sent me a script mm -hmm. i read the script sitting at uh, venice beach uh, in uh, los angeles i sat i was reading the script and i read 23 pages of the script and there was a character called gorov which was gorov was me i could feel that i was gorov okay and watch the movie the movie is called uh, is the called suffer. suffer yes i watched the movie you watched the movie and the the character was me and i i just called up the person and i said hey If this is the character that you want me to play, then I'll play the movie because I'll do it because it just felt like that character was me. And after I that, I can relate to that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you watched the movie, so the movie was called Suffer. It came out back in 2016, I believe. And after that, there was no looking back. I have watched Suffer, Sanjay. Yeah. yeah. And I must say, you are a very good actor. Very Thank you good very actor. Much. You've not been to the theaters. You've not learned acting. No, I haven't. I've watched movies. That was my. That's how I learned how to go ahead and probably act. I don't know. Yeah. People say that they like my movies. So thank uh -huh. you very much. Thank so, you very much. Yes, I mean you're one of those media persons who've uh, you know jumped into another sector, yeah. the movie industry, yeah. and has done a great job. Thank you very But, much. But you know, Manchar ko aili kostuk mentality aasa bani. They get into the TV thing. Yeah. And they jump into movies. Yeah. And uh, what they think is, you have a pretty face. Yeah. You become a good actor. That's not true, right? See, Oshin, it's very different mm -hmm. because around the world, mm -hmm. a lot of people have jumped into acting without mm -hmm. having acting knowledge. Without having acting knowledge, it comes from within to a lot of people. They probably don't have to go to uh, school to learn how to act. Mm -hmm. It comes naturally to a lot of people. To some people, it might not come naturally. Mm -hmm. So you know, you have to go ahead and. Mm -hmm. Like a stone, you have to go out and chisel it mm -hmm. to uh, make it a statue. So it's completely okay. Mm -hmm. Some get it naturally, some don't get it naturally. So to everybody who are watching right now, you know, if you want to try acting, just go for it. If you get the opportunity, that is, because I got opportunities to do what I am doing right now. I was lucky and I jumped into mm -hmm. it. I didn't think twice about it. I just jumped into it to see how it's gonna go. I jumped into the boat and I'm sailing now. Sometimes there are choppy waters, sometimes there are smooth waters. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's a boat, and I'm going to move forward. So, mm -hmm. to everybody, whatever you want to do in life, you want to be a musician, you want to be a pilot, you want to be a doctor, you want to work in a bank, or you want to join the media, whatever you want to do in life, go with your gut, go with your gut feeling, and do what you want to do for your, the rest of your life. Just go for it. That's all I say. So, Sanjay, you're an RJ, a VJ, an actor, and yeah. uh, a very nice fan. Thank you very much. How do you juggle go noon, sir? Uh, to tell you the truth, Oshin, every morning I wake up, I go ahead and get this shaker that I have, <laughs> put everything in it, put some martini in it, and then put it back together, shake it, drink it and up, drink it. and then start off my day. Very that's nice all, that's all I do. <laughs> all right, like like M and S. All right, movers and shakers. I just I just move okay. and shake and drink it. Okay. That's how I started off. <laughs> all right. And uh, oh, well, another thing that is, yeah. we were talking about uh, the many roles that you play. Yeah. So. Which one is your favorite one? I can't pick one, Rashid. I'm not kidding with you. I cannot pick one because radio, it's microphone. Mm. Television, it's a camera. But acting, it's a camera where you got to go out and pretend that you are totally somebody else, mm -hmm. right? And then hosting a show, it's microphone again, but in front of thousands and thousands of people mm -hmm. or very very important people. Mm -hmm. So. Every everything that I do has different perks, and everything I, that I do has is a complete new challenge for me. Every time I do it, every day I do it. So I cannot choose one. I got to go out and embrace it all, all of it, all together. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about this again, Pani. Yes, Rashid. Uh, your love for social media, uh -huh. especially Instagram and the story. Yes, I love that. Yo, Munsani, kaise kaise ko to saat saat ora lines unsa wala. Okay. Do you have like 20 dots there? I got so, sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> I when I'm hosting a show or doing something I crazy, know. I got like more than 20 dots there. Yeah, and then I watch 
every one of them. Yeah, I know, I see it. <laughs> yes. So, um, most of it is about your gym. Are you a fitness freak? I'm not a fitness freak, Oshin, but I tend to go ahead and eat small meals five times a day and try to go ahead and hit the gym mm -hmm. at least four to five times a week. So that once every week, so that you know, you, you, stay, you try to stay fit. I'm not this crazy guy who wants big muscles and wants to go super crazy, but mm -hmm. you know, at least, at least st staying fit. You know, at least you can, I cycle a lot, you know, so either I can go ahead and do that or, you know, you gotta maintain yourself, you just gotta stay fit. Because it's not that I want to live till 90 years old. Till the time I live in this planet, I want to stay fit and live. You are one of the most loved media personalities at the moment. Everybody, you have that energy in you. How are you? Everybody loves you. Thank you very like, much. what do you have to say about that? Costa feelings, reactions, costa It's 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 real fun. Uh, with uh, when I meet uh, friends from the media, media it's different. You know, when we share our ideas, we talk about what we go through, what kind of work we are doing, and then what the media life is. So we have a small circle of friends in the media. Media ma kamen sathi rotei. It's a small circle, but I love it when I actually go out and go outside, you know, I'm hanging out with my friends and I meet young people who come up to me and go like, they're super excited to see me and they go and they send tons of messages, you know, on Instagram, on social media or whenever I meet young people and when they go out and say that you're inspiring, we love what you do, you've got so much energy, what's your new project, we're really excited to see it. That's what boosts me every day. So whenever I wake up, it's the cup of coffee and thinking about all the people Amen. for who I'm doing this for. I want to inspire people. I, I don't want I'm I don't want people to go ahead and you know I want people to go ahead and do a lot of things here in Nepal. In any industry they want. Not just the media, but any industry they want, because we've got so much scope. And I try to go ahead and tell young people that there's so much to do here that stay back. Or go out, study, come back, or go out, work, and come back, and do something here. Because if I'm doing it, then you can do it as well. So Sanjay, what is next? Are you going to continue acting, or do you have something else in your head that you want to add to your hat as a feather? Uh, Ushin, every two years, two to three years, I challenge myself even harder to do something new. So if you look at my career graph, radio, mm -hmm. television, movies, hosting shows, now, of course, there's more things in my Don't pipeline tell me as well. you're gonna get into production. <laughs> uh, well, maybe that as well, maybe that as well. So many different things that I wanna conquer, right? Because, hey, I, all of us have a of short course. period of time in this planet to do as much as, as we want to do. You know, so there are limited, there's limited time that I have, so I wanna do as much as I want. Of course, always wanted to go out and start mm -hmm. uh, a business. I'm doing that this year. Mm -hmm. Always wanted to go ahead and start, uh, you know, a nice bar. I might be doing that in the coming years. Always, want, I'm an adventure seeker, so I always strive for new adventures. I travel the world with that. So I might be doing something new when it comes to adventure as well with my own life. Mm -hmm. Might be skydiving, might be paragliding. I, I want to learn all these things as well. My, my, I'm definitely going to be doing lots of more movies, lots of new TV shows. On that note, yeah, abukun movies are asanaya. A uh, new movie that's coming out is going to be coming out very soon. It's called Happy Days. Uh, I'm doing this movie with Priyanka Karki and uh, Diane Rai. And this movie is directed by Milan Champs. And it's coming out very soon. It's going to be a fun thing. That uh, it's, it's a very fun movie. And uh, we shot it in the UK. So it's really fun. And it's coming out very soon. Plus lots of new TV shows coming out as well. So you're busy with movies, TV shows. And you're you starting up your own thing. Yeah, starting up my own thing, I'm working on that. I'm traveling a lot this year as well. I'm traveling almost all around the world, so I'm really excited for that as well. And many more things, Sushin, many more things. And I'm going to be updating that on my social media as we go along. Of course.